Giving your dog regular baths is an essential part of ongoing grooming and good hygiene. Generally speaking, a healthy dog with a short, smooth coat and no skin problems doesn't need to be bathed often. In most cases, dog baths are more for the benefit of their pet parents than for the dogs themselves. Even so, it's a good idea to bathe your pooch at least once every two to three months. Bathing also removes dead hair and hydrates and nourishes the skin and coat, helping your dog feel more comfortable and less itchy. Here we discuss how to bathe the dog properly. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Coax or place your dog in the tub or wash station. Before you even turn on the water, take the time to set up an environment where your dog will be as comfortable as possible and will associate the experience positively. One way to do that is to prepare your dog's coat so the process doesn't trigger discomfort. Before the bath, play the jump in the tub game. Toss treats into the tub, and when your dog jumps in to retrieve it, praise them. After a good belly rub, lead them out of the tub and throw another treat in for them to retrieve. This teaches your dog to associate positivity with being in the tub. Pick the proper Shampoo and conditioner Human shampoo won't harm your dog as a one-off but is definitely not recommended as a long-term bathing solution. Keep away from human shampoos with added fragrance or color, as these will be particularly harsh on your pet's skin. Dogs need their own shampoo because their skin needs are different from those of human skin. Use a low vera and oatmeal shampoo that hunts down dry, itchy, and flaky skin while leaving a pleasant pina colada scent. Made with natural ingredients and Ferminator-like features, this shampoo is perfect for dogs with short double coats. Must dilute the shampoo with water. After shampooing your dog, putting on a conditioner is the next important step. Conditioner rehydrates the skin as well as closes up all the cells on the outside part of the hair shaft itself. Washing the dog's face. Washing your dog's head is one of the trickiest parts of the dog bathing process. You don't want to get soap or water in sensitive areas like your dog's ears, nose, and eyes. We recommend you save this part for the end of the bath and suggest using a washcloth to clean your pet's face. Rinse well until there is no more product on the fur. Don't shorten the rinsing time. It's really important to rinse all the soap and residue off your dog, which can take some time with a long or densely coated animal. Shampoo that dries on your dog's coat or skin can be irritating, and it will also get dirty and matted in a hurry. Post bath. After a bath, most pet owners quickly towel down their pet, but you should try to get the fur as dry as possible. By the end, your pet should be damp but not dripping wet. Then, use either a dog-specific hairdryer or a human one in a medium or cool setting. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.